Welcome uh, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Trump's... Uh, Trump's impeachment is really heating up. It's, it's, it's gearing up. It's ramping up. The gears are all hot from all the ramping they're doing. Uh, uh, there are live hearings tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, the fate of our nation hangs in the balance. That is why all week, we will have complete coverage of my amazing trip to New Zealand. <laughs> Unbelievable. Once in a lifetime. Yeah. The great escape. Every night, every night, we'll share a different story from my trip. Tonight, my fascinating day with New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. Why New Zealand? Why did I go to New Zealand? Because it is as far away as I could get from our news <laughs> without getting pecked to death by penguins. But first, I'll catch you up on all the details of Trump's sticky wicket in tonight's edition of Don and the Giant Impeach. Mommy, take me home. For those just joining us, it looks like Donald Trump withheld military aid to Ukraine to try to pressure that country into announcing a bogus investigation of Joe Biden. And I'm happy to say people understand that simple story. In a new poll, 70% of Americans say Trump's actions tied to Ukraine were wrong. That's, it's nearly impossible to get 70% of Americans to agree on anything. 70%. 70% of people. That's a lot of people. The, the only other one I can think of is don't eat Taco Bell before getting on a roller coaster. <laughs> but... Uh-oh. Here's a weird part of this poll. Of that 70% who think Trump's actions are wrong, the number who don't want him removed from office is 19%. That means one in five Americans admire the wrongness. <laughs> Explains his new campaign slogan, Trump 2020, let's throw cinder blocks off the overpass. <laughs> Now, it looks like uh, the biggest day is going to be Wednesday. Is that when we have? Okay, it's Wednesday, when Congress will hear from U.S. Ambassador to the EU and Lord Baldemart, <laughs> Gordon Sunland. Sunland is in deep during a meeting at the White House, according to a source in the room. Sunland demanded ferociously that the Ukrainians open the Biden investigations. Sunland got very emotional adding that there was lots of yelling. A temper tantrum in the White House? Do you expect me to believe that a man who looks like this is a giant baby? <laughs> Jim, that photo's got to be doctored. Can we see the original? There you go. There you go. Of course, of course, the biggest Sondland slip-up was when he called Donald Trump from a public restaurant in Kiev, where several witnesses at the table heard Trump over the phone demanding an investigation of Biden. That's a direct link. Now, on Friday, the House heard from one of those witnesses, counselor for political affairs in Ukraine and boyfriend confident that Build-A-Bear was the gift you wanted, <laughs> David Holmes. Holmes confirmed that he indeed did overhear Sondland's phone call and added this colorful detail. In the call he heard Sondland tell Trump, President Zelensky loves your ass. <laughs> oh, who doesn't? <laughs> Jimmy, give us a taste. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. That's like... That's like two hams stuffed in a surgical glove or a, a plastic tablecloth full of rice pudding or a, like two loaves of poppin' fresh microwaved in a christening gown. Holmes' testimony is also, uh, it also showed that Trump's priority was not on national security, but investigating the Bidens. Trump even asked Sondland, so, he's going to do the investigation? <laughs> to which Sondland replied, he's going to do it, adding that Zelensky will do anything you ask him to. Anything? <laughs> is this like a genie situation? <laughs> then I want unlimited wishes and unlimited popcorn shrimp. <laughs> now, the other big testimony on Friday? Friday came from former ambassador to Ukraine and current ambassador to the Matrix, Marie <laughs> Yovanovitch. Yovanovitch is a decorated... Yes. <laughs> Plugged into the machines. Yovanovitch is a decorated diplomat with a 33-year career who was ousted after a smear campaign involving Rudy Giuliani. 
And if there's one thing Rudy Giuliani knows, it's how to destroy a reputation. <laughs> so far, just his, but he burned that mother to the ground. <laughs> now, burn this mother out. <laughs> mother out. On Friday, while Yovanovitch was testifying before Congress, Trump tweeted at her, everywhere Marie Yovanovitch went turned bad. She started off in Somalia. How'd that go? Then fast forward to Ukraine, where the new Ukrainian president spoke unfavorably about her in my second phone call with him. Now she's back in the United States, and the president is being impeached. Kawinky dink, way to go, Marie. <laughs> now, when this tweet landed in the middle of the testimony, again, she's testifying, he's attacking her. Chairman Adam Schiff read it into the record and asked the ambassador for her reaction. Ambassador Ivanovich, uh, as we sit here testifying, the president is attacking you on Twitter. The president in real time is attacking you. What effect do you think that has on other witnesses' willingness to come forward and expose wrongdoing? Well, uh, it's very intimidating. Wow. He's reading Trump's nasty comment right to her on live TV. It's like he's the Andy Cohen of Congress. <laughs> Ambassador Yovanovitch, the president just publicly attacked you. I'm gonna hand you this glass of Chardonnay and ask, is there anyone whose face you'd like to toss it in while yelling, you don't know me, bitch? <laughs> okay? Okay? Are you, are you at all? Are you at all? The House also released a transcript of the testimony from advisor to Vice President Pence and stormtrooper looking for her helmet. <laughs> Jennifer Williams. Uh, Williams uh, evidently was listening in on the July 25th phone call with uh, the president of Ukraine and testified that Trump's behavior struck her as unusual and inappropriate. Well, which is it, Jennifer? Because for Trump, inappropriate is the usual. <laughs> Trump attacked this witness. Trump attacked this witness, too. Tell Jennifer Williams, whoever that is, to read both transcripts of the presidential calls and see the just-released stistiment <laughs> from Ukraine. Yes. Yes, Jennifer. Uh. Yes, Jennifer. Read the stistiment <laughs> before you testify against the pres president. <laughs> 